Mickey, who is um, one of the greatest guys I've ever met in my entire life. He, uh, and, and, and it's the kind of thing where I, Anna Statman is here somewhere, and, and um, she was over at my house one day, and we were talking about uh, the music industry. This was back in the day when there was one. And uh, she says to me, uh, do you know a guy named Mike Minky? And I, I didn't. He, she couldn't believe it, and she literally left the house and came back with him. And, uh, and we've been friends ever since. Um, and that's true. And um, Mike is a person who, you know, traveled to Mississippi with me when I said, let's go to a picnic. He um, <laughs> went there with me and we ended up buying property down there together, which we still own. Uh, by the way, Mike, our, our um, bathroom is leaking. The tenant called this afternoon. That's not a joke. And, um, and, uh, and uh, he's a guy who we've started, I think, about 30 labels now together. Um, we have a bunch of Grammy nominations. We are going to do more. And it's just a... A fantastic thing. And, but here's the deal. Even though you're all thinking, why does he need to get married if he has somebody like me in his life and these kind of experiences? Right. So this is the toast I'd like to give. Um, Susie, i got to tell you something. I've known Mike for a long, long time. I've never, ever, ever seen him happier. Um, this is a guy who, if you know Mike, um, is pretty much hateful to anything that the government has created or... Or, or even, you know, like governments in the past, thousands and thousands of years, biblical governments. Um, when I told him I was getting married, he's like, huh, right, good one, nice one, nice one. So when he told me that he had asked Susie to marry him, I was like, thank God he finally didn't listen to himself and he listened to his heart. He didn't listen to his head, he listened to his heart. Um, Susie, you've never made a person I know happier. It's just the most amazing thing in the world. Going down to Mississippi with you, which is where I took my wife when we first met, and uh, partaking in the, the Hill Country stomp and uh, you know shaking our butts with R.L. Boyce and all the Oka Turner family clan, that's when I knew you were one of the great people of this earth. And drinking moonshine, which supposedly we have coming. Um, I just want to hold up a glass to true romance and true love, and to these two people who exemplify it in the greatest of possible ways. Here's to you guys. So um, there's a microphone going, um, and I'm unfortunately you're also your master of ceremonies tonight. So you're kind of screwed. Oh, Sammy. Oh. Sammy. How are you guys doing? For those of you who don't know me, I'm Susie's oldest son and Sammy. My last name is Bailey, which is probably different from hers right now. <laughs> because I was at a bar last night, and there were these kids sitting next to me, and they're from Beverly. And I said to them, my mother keeps to that Beverly. And they're like, oh, really? Who's your mom? And I had to think for a second of which last name to give them. Do you know it's Bailey or Schneider? I was like, I'll go with Messenger. And they knew who she was. But I was like, that's not going to be her name tomorrow. <laughs> so, I've also known Minky for a very long time. I love her. Really. Uh, as close as this guy is going to be to my father. I couldn't be happier So, Al Green. Thank you.